uh -huh. it's spiritual, it's rooted in African culture. So I get excited for the artists. So Trey's one of us, and he's going to introduce himself and some of his written works and spoken words to and with us. And then he, you can get with him, and we can create it more from that place. And now once our brothers finish up, we're going to play a nice, we have some Nigerian movies to play in uh, with the socialized, but I want to save most most of our, our introductions for later. So okay. Trey, yeah. yeah, this is it, entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Greetings, uh, greetings, greetings. How, how do we say it in uh, Machi? Machi. Machi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, so Good morning. this is how we say. I say mache, mache. you say ya. Yeah. Mache? Ya. Yeah. Blessings for that, my 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 people. Now, um, as you all know, I am Trey. Um, I've been on a journey now for quite some time, and my my renaissance has taken many years. However, it's one that's been worthwhile, and I can safely say that all the experiences I've been through my entire life has prepared me for this moment. <coughs> yeah. I've been writing poetry for the past 10 years and um, how it happened, I can't say it's quite by accident because as we know nothing happens by accident but there's a divine purpose for everything. But I was sitting in church one day and uh, an elderly lady approached me and you know how our mothers and grandmothers are in the African diaspora. She said, young man. So I looked around because I didn't know she was speaking to me. She said, can you write me a poem? And I said, me? She said, yes, you. I said, but I don't know how to write poems. She said, young man, are you going to do it for me or not? <laughs> so I said, okay, mommy, tell me what you need and I'll do it for you. So I did. She took, gave me some instructions and I wrote her a poem. Can you, can you stand? Yeah, sorry. Some people are stretching their ears. Yeah, so, yeah, so oh, yeah. I did that. I wrote the poem for her. About two weeks later, they had a poetry competition in church. And would you know it? Everybody came to me asking for me to write poems. And I'm thinking, but I've never done this. How did they know that I can actually write poems? So I took the challenge. Then at the poetry contest, would you believe that every single poem that was done was my work? So they honored me instead. So this is what led me to this journey. Now I write on a whole lot of things. I write on philosophy, I write on history, I write on, on medicine. I write on what is happening in the world. I write on love. I write on women. I write on a whole lot of things. So I'm just gonna share a few things with you. Uh, this is called character. One of the biggest parts of character is knowledge of knowing our own identity. Our failure to identify with our own identification often leads to misidentification. Staying far off the beaten track, relaying information from the farthest in the back when we should be leading instructions from the furthest in the front of the pack. Yes. Recklessly navigating off the charted course, restlessly inflating all evidently inflated sources, needlessly failing to achieve our intended ambitions because our divine destination we have heedlessly departed. In a wayward arrogance, we seemingly experience forward arrogance. The navigational skills necessary to keep us firmly along our trajectory has severely eroded our virtual memory. Stopping when we should be going, heading north when south is where the mental compass is leading, receding west when east is where we should be proceeding. A change is necessary. But the change starts with the mirror. The change starts with the mirror of the mind. Let's be wise. Be not mesmerized by hindsight. Instead, let's utilize insight. Synchronize our hearts and minds.
to energize confidence of who we are today so that come what may tomorrow tomorrow we will realize the divine destiny of our royal identity without any further delay think uh -huh. recognize not stigmatize to know is to grow beauty for ashes that leads me on to my next one uh, you know we always say things like I'll do it tomorrow but tomorrow never comes hey that. and I sat one day I was thinking about that about tomorrow and it led me to these words tomorrow tomorrow is a word insolently used with complete flippancies competently and with extreme eloquence it flows from our lips with supreme influences failing to comprehend the potency of which our speech influences our existence as a consequence the unintelligence we impeach breach our lives with such affluent nonchalance oblivious to the fact that the tomorrow we assiduously announce is really the today we precociously pronounced yesterday or our incognizance blinds us in our blindness we ignorantly see the present future today unmindful that there are no promises that tomorrow will ever back us with his past presence anyway let's take heed there is no time like the present we have here and now so really we need to live our tomorrow today let's cherish the memorable moments with our loved ones let's maximize the insistence currency of our intended existence let's relish efficiently living out all our hopes dreams and aspirations in the grand conclusion let's be mindful that what is done cannot be undone so let's live today for tomorrow well what can i say about tomorrow <laughs> when today today we're gone think the tomorrow we seek we see today beauty for us yeah yeah oh yeah yeah I don't know if you remember the mudslide in Sierra Leone yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah.